So Johnny Davis's rookie year is in the books. And for Wizards fans or for Johnny, it didn't go the way that would have liked it to. Um, but he showed some signs of promise in the last eight games. He averaged 5.8 points on the season, shoot, shot 38.6% from the field in only 28 games, spent most of his time in the G League, had his struggles in the G League. It's well documented. He did not dominate the G League by any stretch of the imagination. But like I said, he finished the year strong with the Wizards. In the last eight games when they were out of playoff contention, they let him loose, let him take a ton of shots, play a ton of minutes. And I think that experience was really valuable for Johnny. Um, but in those last eight games, he averaged 14.6 points per game, 5.6 rebounds, 2.9 assists, averaged a steal, and just under a block per game. He did that at a 39% clip from the field, 50% from the free throw line, and 28% from three. So obviously, he's, he has to raise those percentages up. Um, and I think he will. Uh, it's obvious what Johnny needs to improve on going forward. It's his shooting. He needs to make defenses respect him at the very least so he can open up the drive. When te teams can just sag off of him because he's hitting at a 28% clip, uh, he's going to get bounced from the league at that point. He He's going to work his ass off this summer. That, that's just who Johnny is. He's a junkyard dog. He's going to work his tail off to improve that. But when the lights come on, that's the question. Can he knock down jumpers at a decent clip, make defenses respect him? And then the other thing is his ball handling. Uh, as good as he is at changing directions and knifing his way to the hoop, he doesn't have the tightest handle, so he needs to improve on that. Because in college, he's able to get away with not being a great shooter and a ball handler because he's such a good athlete. He's able to get to the mid-range game, get to the hoop at will. But in the NBA, when teams don't respect your three-point shot and can sag off of you and sit on that mid-range jumper, uh, that changes things a little bit. Now, that'll, that'll, that'll shorten a career very quickly. But if Johnny can improve these things, I, I do think Johnny can have a 10-plus year NBA career, become an NBA starter. I was never in the boat labeling Johnny a bust after a slow start at the age of 20 because it just takes some guys longer to adapt to the NBA game than others. Um, but I'm not in the same boat as some people who are like, oh, he's Devin Booker with defense. I, uh, I obviously don't think that. I think he's in the middle where he might have a really solid NBA career um because he's got the defense he's he, he can cause some problems defensively he can move his feet really well he's athletic offensively he's got a great first step um he's got a really good vertical he put drew holiday on a poster he's an nba athlete nba defender he's just gotta gotta level up those skills a little bit on offense and he have a really long career and that's all i got for you thank you very much for making it to the end of the video if this is your first video with me make sure to like and subscribe for more uh nba and basketball content and i'll see you next time